So this is the starting point for this. And we think this solves a lot of problems. So uh, an example is if you had two independent nozzles, you'd have to constantly move the print head to match where the position was, and you'd have to align these different extruder tips based on all three coordinate axes. You'd have to tell your firmware or your software about those positions. And it just requires a lot of setup. And if that wasn't bad enough, there's always the possibility that when you're printing, something can go slightly wrong and uh, say that your print warps up in one location, then as you're moving, one print head can knock off that part of the print and it can crash and skip. Uh, this is also a more space efficient design. So if I want to change colors very rapidly, I actually can do about a color change in two millimeters worth of filament. So that's not a whole lot. That's something that could be perhaps wasted inside of the infill of a print. Um, but it's pretty typical to go to an area of the print where you designate it as a waste pillar and you would extrude, let's say, five millimeters in this case. And so you would get a very clear switch from this green to now blue. And then you would print blue as much as you need to for the layer, doing all of the normal retractions and things like that, all the while holding this yellow in place. Now when you want to switch to yellow, you move up the blue a tiny bit and you start extruding yellow throughout that layer and you continue for all the layers upwards. So there you have it. Color mixing. So that's one thing that we can do. Another thing that we can potentially do that I'm sure people are going to be stoked on. This is M3D's latest filament development. It's PBB. And PBB is a potentially new support material. It has much of the same properties as PLA and a similar printing temperature. But its key advantage is that it's based on an alcohol-soluble polymer. Give it a clean tip for starting. And so what you could do potentially with this material, so let's see here, let's push out all that yellow. Okay, so PBB on the right. Now in PBB, now PLA. PBB, PLA. And you can see that it takes a little bit longer than the yellow did to clear out. And that's just because it's a different material. And with the PBB, there's actually a bit of residual PLA with all the little nanoparticles of iron oxide that color it blue in there. But the point is you can actually do the same thing. I'm co-extruding right now, about 50-50. So I've created a hybrid material here that's one part soluble support and one part PLA. 